Hey y'all, so I'm back with the Vernisha video. This is actually my second time recording it. Ready to Love season four uh, reunion, Vernisha and Joel's situation, she did her tell all. Okay, I think whoever get it first on YouTube, they hold the uh, copyrights to it because I had to redo this video because I did it with her up here on the computer. And when I uploaded it, it gave me a copyright strike. And, um, but you know, if you delete it, the copyright, it, it will say, oh, it's copyrighted, blah, blah, blah. So I deleted it and I'm redoing it. Okay. So instead of putting it up here where you can see her on the computer, we just go hear her voice. I am sure all of you have already heard the tell all. So I'm just going to respond to a couple of stuff because this is my second time doing it. I'm just going to have to cut it up. Okay. Because I don't have enough time to redo it. Okay. So let's play. Hopefully you guys can hear, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for your love and support. Be sure to watch my, uh, my Ryan and Clara video. Yep. They're done, but didn't, Cousin Jen is saying, show me love. My books, 23 Tesla Guy You Might Meet, uh, The Mid and Naked White. Go over to my Amazon. I have lots of books over there you guys can choose from. And that, that's a way to support me. You know I work hard on this channel. So if you want to show me love, support, I say every month, put put $25 aside and say, I'm going to give this to Jen. Remember, we used to support Bishop Jiggs and Creflo Dollar and all of them. You send them an offering every month. Well, do that for me, okay? And I just want you guys to help me on my Etsy store, stimulate my store for me. Okay. It's brand new. Take the cookie of the tables over there. I got a couple of sales on that. All right. I love you, babes. Let's go. Let me put up Vernisha so y'all can see her. Okay. So this is Vernisha speaking. I promised you guys that I would give you some enlightenment on, um, on the whole situation with me and Joel because you guys, well, first of all, Vernisha, what kind of enlightenment? I knew this was going to happen, girl. I told you that Joel was into you, and I told you you was going fast, and I told you you were missing all the signs, and you just did not pay attention to all the signs, just like a lot of women. You don't pay attention to the signs. You are emotional. You jump all the way in, and all the time, the man is telling you by his actions, and sure, some men are not going to come out and say, uh, what we want them to say, because men are not like women. We want, as women, we want men to be like women, but they are not us. And what we need to do is learn, learn how men communicate and realize that men communicate via their, their actions. So if you pay attention to the man's action, Vernisha, you wouldn't have ended up here. Now, initially I was rooting for you though. I was nervous. Go back and watch my video. I said, oh, she's a single mom. You know, she probably had this struggling single mom syndrome and I was very nervous for you. Well, you proved me right. OK, so um, there is no enlightenment for me because I knew this was going to happen because you was I just didn't like the way you was moving. You was moving like a typical we're woman. very much invested. Y'all deserve to know, you know. So you said we was invested. Well, I really wasn't invested, girl. I knew this was going to happen. I told you this was going to happen. Okay, so I, you know, go back, watch all my videos. I said, girl, I think he, Joe's gonna get to the end with her just to win, and then he gonna drop you. Okay, and you know, most of it or some of it, I'll say on um, the reunion, or y'all watched it play out. But it was a lot of things that kind of happened that you probably didn't see or you don't know, or you know. <clears throat> so I wanted to clear up a a, a few things. Hey, okay. Hey. Personally, Vernisha, I just don't think there's anything to clear up. Wise woman knew you were going down the wrong road. Okay? All the wise women, we already knew this was going to happen, Vernisha. We tried to tell you, girl. Okay? Um. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Just start it, girl. Just I start. Had so many things to say. You should have like, written. I, like you know when you kind of. You should have written them down, Vernisha. Okay. You don't know where you start. You should have written them down. Write them down the next time. Watching everything, you like. Oh, I can't wait for this to be over because I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say that. You angry or you hurt? But I'm so. Much okay, then you're you're angry and hurt. You're 40 years old. How many times a man has done you in like this? for you to be angry and hurt. And for those of you who are emotional or talk about I'm being too hard on Vernicia, she is 40 years old. 
if Vernisha was 25, my whole content would be different. Oh, Janice, oh my God, you don't have any empathy. She's 40. You are 40 years old and still being a dumb dumb. You have used up one third of your life. God promised us 120 years. Most people don't even make it to 100, much less. So let's say we make it to 80. You've used up 40 years of your life. The first 40 you can overlook, but at 40, you are still acting like a dumb dumb, like one of them 16, 17 year old girls that, that they're young, they don't have no sense and they're learning. You're 40. So my question to you, Vernicia, and those of the other Vernicias in the comment section, how many times this has happened to you that you have not learned yet? That's my question. I want to know how many more times are you going to be hurt and angry because you are not playing chess? I need to get a chess thing up here versus checkers. Okay, go ahead, girl. Say what you got to say. Now, to be honest, a lot of that kind of went out the window. It's not as uh, a big deal as it was for me to feel outside, you know, but I, I still feel like that uh, you guys, you know, y'all do deserve the right to, to know, you know, so. But we already knew what happened, girl. I mean, we already knew what happened. We saw it all on the TV. Okay. I've been saying it all season. We knew this was going to happen. Y'all got questions or anything? Let me let me. No, I ain't got no I question. Okay, I got question. I got question. I got question, Vernice. I got question. You're 40, girl. You are 40 years old. Don't you think by 40, you should have already learned the game? Don't you think by 40 years old, Vernisha, that you should know not to jump all the way in and make assumptions with a man? Don't you think by 40 years old, you should have been able to recognize the red flags? Okay, I got another question. I got another question. At 40, you got three girls, right? Do you think it's appropriate for you, somebody, a man, a father just met to be spending the night at his house? Don't you think that's kind of weird? Don't. Uh, all right, girl. All right, let me just go ahead because I got to go. Because <laughs> I was pissed, but I'm okay. Oh, I'm glad you're okay, girl. Because you know, all the red flies was up there on the TV. I'm just saying though. Um. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let me speak on it. They did try a few of the ladies. Um, played on me like being a mean girl or insecure or uh, aggressive. Vernisha, we saw you being, I'm not going to say the mean girl. We saw you being aggressive. We saw you being controlling. Okay. Hello. I have the, from your own mouth, girl, you said you was angry. Yes, you are aggressive. I'm not going to call you the mean girl. I just, I don't think you're, I didn't see the mean girl, okay? Maybe at the communion when you was trying to tell the woman they can't touch him and can't talk to him, okay? Now, as much as I don't even care for Alexis, I wouldn't call her on the show a mean girl. Neither I would say she's aggressive towards the woman. Aggressive towards AJ, yes. But as far as aggressive towards the woman, no. Kyra, I would never use the word aggressive with her or the mean word or the mean girl. Liz, I would never say Liz is aggressive or the mean girl or anything like that. Based on everything what happened, but I would say Liz come off as giving me the mommy vibes. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference, uh, Vernisha? We say you're aggressive and controlled because you showed us aggressive and controlling. So we can only say what you're giving us on the TV. Okay, that's what you gave us. So that's what we're saying. Now, as far as what happened off screen and after re the reunion, based on what all the other ladies are saying, yeah, you are being the mean girl. 
towards them, but I didn't see that on the show. So I would not say, Vernisha, you was being a mean girl on the show. I would not say that. But aggressive, manly, masculine. Yeah, I would say that. Uh, <clears throat> girl, like, what am I insecure about? He chose me. The same. Girl, he chose you because he know he could use you to get to the end. That's why he chose you. He knew he knew you were all the way in and you could take him to the end. Person that sent y'all home, you know, that played a part in, in sending y'all home. What? He sent them home because they were not crazy about him like you were. He knew that no matter what, V was going to hold on to him. You didn't have anybody else's interest. Nobody else wanted you. Nobody else was talking about you. Because they all picked up on what, what Pop, Papa picked up. So Ver, Ver, Joel was like, well, okay, I'm going to use her to get to the end. She all the way in. She liked me like that. So you were, you know what I'm saying? Were, though. I know whatever I do to Ver, V. V going to stick by me because you know what I'm saying? V, he, she all the way in though, okay? Mm -hmm. oh, would I be insecure or aggressive or a mean girl to you? You are being insecure and aggressive. Hello? Hello? You chose Kyra after me? You was going to send me home for Kyra? For Kyra? Now, Joe say in his, when his live he did with, what's her name? He said, V knew he was dating Kyra. He went out on three dates with Kyra. And uh, what he said was, what happened then is why he said Kyra was, Kyra was finally opening up to him. And he said, I even said to V, man, I just went on dating Kyra. She's finally opening up to me. So were you insecure about that? That Cairo was finally opening up to him? Mm -hmm. I had no reason to. Now. You had a lot of reason to be insecure. Okay. A lot. Because as soon as Joel started paying his attention. Otherwise you got real nervous. And I just don't understand why they never showed us those that date with Joel and Amber. I do have the pictures out y'all. I share it later. Okay. The thing is uh, people overstep boundaries. People play, you know, they play these little games. They... What boundaries? It's a dating show. It is a dating show. So what boundaries were they overstepping and what games were they? Because it is a dating dating show. So aren't y'all supposed to be dating each other anyways? I don't understand it, girl. Make it make sense to me, V. Come on. Play these mind games and, and they play on people's top. And I've I shared this with Joel. They couldn't play on my top. That's the problem. Oh, people play probably mind games that they play on Joel top. They couldn't play on my top. You're not his mother. So they play with him. Because Oh, they play with him because of what? Because he's showing interest somewhere else. And you mad about him showing interest somewhere else. Girl, make it make sense to me. I got to go, V. You gotta hurry up and talk, girl. I got to go. He's you know, he's a little more friendlier. He's a little more um open. He's a little more, you know. I guess a little more vulnerable than I was when it came to uh, people just can't play with me in any kind of way. Okay, so he's friendly, he's open. Did you say vulnerable, girl? But he's a man. He's a man. Anytime a man interests start going somewhere else, you you not you are not enough to hold his interests. He's friendly. Okay. So that means, V, if you are so possessive and What's the word? Control? No. 
what's the word she said she's um totally no what's the word um she's um territorial you can't be with no man that's ter that's friendly my husband he said i i couldn't just marry any woman do you know how many events i've went to with mike and the woman come Mom, hi, what you think I'm gonna do to get your hands on my husband? Get your hands, don't be touching my husband, don't be touching my, that my husband. Black tie event, you talk about four or five hundred people. I'm gonna be out there acting ghetto, and uh -uh, you stand there and smile. And he says, Hi, this is my wife, Jen. Some of them are like, Oh, nice, congrats, bye, or some of them are like, Hi. So for you to say Joel is vulnerable, Vernisha, girl, you got to stop it. All right, babes. I, I got to go, girl. You taking too long. I'm going to talk to you later, okay, V? We going to finish this conversation later, okay? We going to finish it, okay? And I just hope that all the women that's watching, I hope they are learning from this situation because to be 40 and still be so so naive and foolish the bible says foolish woman read the book of proverbs for y'all that's mad um you're too old to be this dumb dumb sis i'm sorry you're too old all right babes listen y'all show me love on uh you at cr amazon i love you uh, i have to run okay we'll finish this later okay bye be sure to subscribe let me let me leave y'all with V. Okay. All right, babes. I love you. Talk to y'all later. Bye.